Hi there, and welcome to the Explaining History YouTube channel. Now, um, the thing I want to talk about today, in continuation with this week's theme on Lenin, is his book, uh, 1917, State and Revolution. Now, previously we were talking about what is to be done. Uh, one of his earlier manifestos, written 15 years earlier, in 1902, which um, spelt out how revolutionary parties should work and what they should be seeking to do, and why it was that um, the proletariat, the working class in Russia, was unlikely to do this on its own. Um, go back to the other previous video if you want a recap on that one. Now, in this video, we're talking about his book, State and Revolution, which um, looked more to what the state would do after a successful um, Bolshevik revolution. There was a, a, a disagreement within the Bolshevik party. Uh, some Bolsheviks, like Bukharin, suggested that the state uh, should wither away. Um, that was a, an idea about the state which was closer to anarchist thinking, that really the state is the problem and that if the state is allowed to wither away um, then and, and certain degree decrees and uh, conventions and laws are put into place guaranteeing the autonomy of individuals and institutions within society then communism will naturally emerge it, but it works in the assumption that people are naturally cooperative and helpful and that they will inevitably try to build a, a communist society uh, and it's only, only ever the intervention of the state that, that prevents these things. Lenin disagreed. Lenin said that the state is an organisation of force. The state is a device that is used normally for the suppression of a particular social class, such as in a capitalist society, it's designed to keep the workers down, uh, to crush worker power, and therefore to uh, enable workers to, uh, enable the bourgeoisie to, to rule and oppose. And he said, Actually, if you're building a new society from scratch, and there are obviously huge complications in Russia, given the nature of Russia, if you're doing this from scratch, um, then you need the brute force of the state. You need to have secret policemen and armies and um, concentration camps and all the works in order to destroy the bourgeoisie, and that you can't do that without state power. And this was really the answer to the debate. And um, previously, Lenin had been slightly more inclined to think like Bukharin. Um, and he, he drifts over to this more authoritarian position the closer they get towards revolution itself. And then, as you, as you can probably see, after the revolution, um, the, the, this authoritarianism comes into full force with the... Uh, development of the the first prison camps and then after 1924 the development of the the gulag system um so what lenin also was doing was kind of as he saw it finishing off marx's work marx never said fully what a communist society would look like he was more of a a kind he kind of died really before he could add that part to his um his his writings he did write some stuff about it but not a kind of a full treatise and uh, the and lenin was uh, believed he was adding kind of finer detail really to what a communist society would look like and how it would be built so if you're studying the russian revolution uh, state and revolution in 1917 is a really important text because it explains what lenin does next it explains what it is communism is meant to in his eyes to look like or socialism at least and to working towards communism is meant to look like and how it will be achieved okay i hope you found that useful and remember subscribe and put some comments there preferably nice ones and you'll get the next video in probably tomorrow if not then the day after okay take care all the best bye bye